poppin' everybody? Hammer here. Today I thought we would do a lightning quick movie review. We're gonna be checking out the 1970s schlock driving classic, The Cremators. From what I gather, this movie's about a giant ball of fire that rolls over people and incinerates them. Yeah, that's the fucking premise. Sounds pretty fucking rad, right? Well, guess what? Movie, trailer, let's get her done. ...of infinity. From the world of the sun come the cremators to ignite all mankind. See the earth threatened by enemy aliens whose embrace means instant cremation. What was that? Creatures who look upon our civilization as though we were insects to be stepped on. I involved her in this, and I involved you in this. And I don't know how far I can go. I don't know how to protect anyone. See the cremators running wild, rolling over the land to leave ash and wasteland behind them. Pursued by rolling, spitting mountains of searing, incinerating flame. An adventure into the realms of terror and nightmare, unrivaled on the screen. See the cremators. Wow, guys. This movie is fucking terrible. I have seen some schlock in my day. But the cremators, you know what? This takes the fucking cake. This is a bad movie. Uh, the special effects are just atrocious. Uh, basically, it's just this giant, uh, you know, ball, ball of fire that's rotoscoped over uh, the scene, and then it rolls over its victims and turns them into a pile of dust. Uh, the special effect is very reminiscent of the old War of the Worlds movie, but in this film, it appears that they used the same special effect over and over again for each victim, just with a different angle. Um, it's less than an hour and 20 minutes. Um, there was definitely some slow parts, but before you know it, it's like fucking over. It's like a fart in the wind. It stinks and then it's just gone. Uh, so three stars, folks. I can't give it anything higher than that. If you've never seen this movie, then uh, make sure it stays that way.